Hello YouTube, this is Nightwave37 here. Today I'm, I got a couple of items to review that no fisherman should be without. Obviously, catching fish, you're gonna need a couple of good fillet knives for different sizes of fish, right? So I'm gonna get right into it and discuss the items we're reviewing. First one up is the uh, Knives of Alaska steel header. It's got about a six inch full tang blade Made in the USA. Here's a steel header logo on the steel header knife. And I'm gonna flip it over. And as you can see, you can see the 440C stainless steel made in USA logo on the other side of the, the knife. It's got about a six inch blade. Uh, it's got the sure grip handle with the brass rivets and a brass sleeve for your lanyard if you decide to use that with one of these uh, the sheath that comes in is a nylon which is going to be good since you're going to be around water and all sorts of stuff like that and now I'll get on to the other one okay the other one is a Knives of Alaska coho fillet knife there's the coho uh, fillet knife logo you can see the made in USA 440C logo on the same side on this one. Here's a close up of the blade. It's got a lot of curvature to it. It's about an 8 inch edge on there. It's got the sure grip handle just like the just like the steel header with the uh, brass rivets and a brass sleeve for a lanyard. And as you can see, it's got this sure grip handle on there. Both these knives got it with nice finger indents, which give you good placement for your fingers. Especially when you're flying fish, as we all know, it can get pretty slippery and wet. And for those that are curious, these are the boxes they come in when you first get them. Pretty plain packaging for the most part. So I figured there's no point in showing them right me doing an unboxing of them and this also comes in here with the the knives of each one uh, it even shows you how to properly insert the knives depending on which ones you got this one shows you how to insert the coho or steel header knives uh, another thing I'm gonna add when I bought these I bought these from my local retailer I was originally planning on buying the combo set, but there was a fishing tournament in town, I guess, and they ran out of them. So I ended up having to buy them each individually, which came to about $125. If you have, I'm also a Amazon affiliate. I'll have a link down below in the description of the video. To where you can buy these items and if you have any questions comments please feel feel free to hit me up and one, one another note i would like to add please hit the like subscribe buttons thank you all for your support and you all have a wonderful day